Listen, one of the things people always throw statistics out to you in math class or whatever else are going on, but I want to throw something out to you for this next guest. There are over 325 million people in this country, but only 50 people have the title which the next speaker has. That is your governor, Governor Jim Justice, is here to speak with you, and that's how far it is. I'm going to sit with you. Now listen, you got to really dial into me just for a second. First of all, I'm not just your governor. I'm a coach. I'm with you every day. Nearly every day for five months out of the year, I'm in a school. And I'm with you. Now I've got to tell you just this. And I want you to really dial into just this message, okay? Every single year in this country, 50,000, 50,000 people get killed on the highways. 50,000. Now, if I were to ask you today, do you think one of those people, one of those people gets up in the morning and says, well, today's the day I'm going to get killed on the highway. That answer is simple as mud, and that answer is no way. But you see, it happens. And it's happening to you, it's happening to all of us within our great state every day in a different form. It's happening through a cannibalism of drugs. Now we're getting better. We're on our way to doing better. But I want to tell you just as frankly as I could possibly tell you, when I mean this, I mean it with all in me when I tell you that I love you. I truly do. Now, now I've got to say this, as I come to your different schools, and not very long, as the coach of Greenbrier East High School, I hope that you won't cheer too badly against me and our team, but I just, I have to say with all my soul, you have no clue how good you really are. You, you see, I travel all over the country. I've been doing it my whole life. The secret to West Virginians is unbelievable. The secret to your goodness is unbelievable. You have no idea how great you really are. So let me just tell you just this. For a guy that at one time was skinny, believe it or not, I was really skinny when I was your age. Now, some way, somehow, I grew another body. But let me tell you, no one, no one had more fun growing up than me. Nobody had more fun. Now, and I mean that as sincerely as I could mean it. Now, if no one had more fun than me, and I could stand in front of God above right now and say, God, and I am a Christian through and through. If I said, God, send me to hell if I'm telling anything but the truth. Truly, within my life, I never one time, never one time, did anything related to drugs. And I had more fun than anybody on the planet. Now, and I am the American dream in every way. Think about this. My grandparents never had indoor plumbing. They had an outhouse. I started with nothing. And you see where I am today. Now, let me end this by saying this. 
Some of you are too young to have seen the movie called The Nutty Professor. Many of you probably did see that movie. But I can tell you, in that movie, the guy that was the nutty professor, Eddie Murphy, you know, he said in that movie at one time, he said, hug yourself and say, and then he screamed, yes, I can. Now, you wouldn't believe it, but every basketball team of mine, when we go out on the floor, we scream in the huddle, hug yourself and say, and then they scream, yes, I can. Now, what I want to do to end this is I'm going to say, hug yourself and say, and then I would expect you to scream at the, at the, to take the roof off of this building because it is all going to boil down to you. You. You can be the one that dies today on the highway. You can be the one that goes to drugs. You can be the one that stops somebody from dying tomorrow. It will all boil down to your choice. So now I'm going to hear you. And I want to hear you so loudly that all the kids that aren't in this building still hear you. I'm going to go hug yourself and say, and then it's going to be up to you to say the words, yes, I can. So here we go. I want to hear it, and I want to rip the top of the building off. Hug yourself and say, that's not good enough for me. That's not good enough. We're going to do it again. I mean, I want you to rip your blooming lungs out. Hug yourself.